It's happening. Wait, her father's right there. <laughs> Araminta's father is completely spying on them. Hello, my little rainbows, and welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. So in this episode, we are going to be aging up Prince Charles, Princess Bellatrix, Princess Araminta and Princess Anya. So basically two sets of twins. So I always thought that Araminta and Anya were around the same age as Bellatrix and Charles, but I decided just to have them be like basically the same age because I do also want them to go on their first date as teenagers once they turn into teenagers. And I'm so, so excited to do that because I think it's just gonna be so cute. And I'm so excited to see what they're both going to look like. So we might play around with some of their outfits and everything. Last episode was kind Kind of a little bit more chill and I'm actually filming this episode directly after the last episode so any comments and stuff I have not seen yet so this episode probably is going to be just as chill but like really really cute also and then maybe Sadira might be having her baby in this episode I'm not 100% sure but to start so the kids aren't actually back from school yet but I will be throwing the birthday party as soon as they get back so I wanted you guys to see Lord William this is Prince Callan and Princess Meghan or Duke Kellen and Duchess Meghan, their baby boy. So this is Lord William. I want to like zoom in so you guys can see him because he's super cute and it reminds me of Prince Kellen when Prince Kellen was a baby. This is actually one of the new outfits that came with the update and I thought it was really cute because Winnenberg colors are purple and pink. I don't normally have nobles kind of stick to that color, but I just thought it looked really good on him. And also Kellen wore a lot of purple and pink when he was younger too. And he looks just so so cute. So I'll make sure to post some pictures of him, of William and Kellen and Megan, all like a little bit of family pictures on our Instagram. And you can find our Instagram in the description below. So you can see a bunch of cute royal pictures. So I just think he's so adorable. But Megan and Kellen, they have been out and traveling for like business stuff and for Megan's charity stuff. So Kellen has been staying at the Windenburg Palace for a bit. And Henry has already, of course, met his first grandson and I want him to like interact with his grandson because they're just so, so cute. So we'll have him do a little bit of interaction with him. Guys, look how cute they are. This is so cute. I love this so much. They're so cute. Okay, so the kids should be coming home fairly soon. So yeah, I do think I'm just going to combine Araminta, Anya, Bellatrix and Charles' birthday. So we're going to be having four kids blow out the candles, which should be interesting and we will see if it actually works. I did already make the cakes because I know I have such a history of things going wrong with the cakes that we make. So I do already have the cakes. Oh, oh, that one's gonna be spoiled soon. I should probably put that away before the birthday party starts. That wouldn't be good. Okay, so yeah, we will put those in the fridge for now, but I thought it was really cool that you could just put them on these buffet tables. I didn't actually know that before. I know that when this video comes out, a university will have been out for a while, but I'm filming this before university has come out. So I don't know anything about it right now. So just in case you're wondering, I did mention in the last episode and I've mentioned previously that I'm not planning on making the world of Rychester into a kingdom or anything like that. So yeah, I'll probably just maybe have it as a place that they can go to, but I'm not planning on making it its own kingdom. Okay, so Princess Diana, she wants to invite over Princess Samaria. So that's really cute. I do need to find out also who Diana and who Samaria and all of them would be good with. So Bellatrix has been, she I guess seeing their kids right now, but her first crush is Mac Are they just walking through the gates? Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. But her crush right now is Makana, Prince Makana of Sulani, who is the heir to the Sulani throne. Oh, well, technically after his mother. His mother is the heir, and then he would be the second in line for the throne. So she has a crush on him right now. He is a lot younger than her, but I mean, that's not that big of a deal, but she will be a teenager way before he is. So I don't know if things are gonna really work between them. They obviously probably will stop seeing each other because she's a teenager and wants to pursue like teenager things. But yeah, I think it'll be a while before Makana does age up. Up. And then I think Diana is actually next to age up. But, okay, so why don't we go ahead and start this birthday party? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I actually did move Lord William back with his parents because his parents were coming to their birthday party, obviously, because it's Kellen's niece and nephew, or yeah, 
No, brother and sister, not niece and nephew. It's Kellen's brother and sister. So that's why they're like 100% sure coming to their birthday party. So I just moved Lord William back with them, but we'll probably have Lord William be staying here every once in a while just because his parents will be traveling a lot. Oh my gosh, look at Bellatrix and Charles, you guys. They're so cute. I put them in their formal outfit because they're big guests of honor, basically. Diana's still in her party outfit because it's not her birthday, but her birthday will be like in a sim week week or so. So she still has a good amount of time before she ages up into a teenager. All right, so most of our guests are here now. So I have the buffet out. I'll bring the cake when we are ready. Oh, this right here is Prince Frederick. So I did get to pick his out. Oh, it looks like he was helping himself to some food. But this is Prince Frederick. He's super cute. He looks a little fussy right now, but he is adorable. So I did finally pick his outfits as well. I was also looking, so it looks like Prince Prince Charles and Princess Araminta, or not Princess Araminta, Princess Anya, they don't get along. And that makes sense because he has a crush on her sister or like they're like a thing, they're children, but it's like an innocent little thing. So it looks like him and Anya don't like each other, which makes a lot of sense. I do feel like because Anya, she hates her sister. She's jealous of everything her sister has. So I feel like she has tried to talk to Charles, but Charles kind of blew her off. So then Anya ended up hating him but I feel like Anya would go for Prince Cornelius even though so she is older than Prince Cornelius too but that's totally fine so with Prince Cornelius because he's the heir to the throne so I feel like Anya would try to be queen of Willow Creek because she is jealous that her sister is the heir just because she's older by a few minutes so I feel like Cornelius would be someone that she is trying to go for so that's definitely interesting but I feel like she's already tried to go for Charles but they don't have a good relationship at all so I don't know how she's going to even try, but I don't know. She's the type of person to just come up with some sort of scandal or something like that just to make her sister look bad or just to embarrass her sister or something like that. We'll have to see if anything ends up happening with that. Okay, but I do want to, this probably is gonna be a quick birthday party because I do want Charles and Araminta to go on their first date and I do still need to pick their outfits. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring out these cakes. Okay, so now we're going to have, I'm gonna have Charles blow out the candles first, then Bellatrix and we'll have Araminta and Anya. I'm not I don't know if I'm ready for this. I've been holding it off for a while, but they have been children for a while. So he is now blowing out the candles, you guys. Charles is turning into a teenager. I am so excited to see what he is going to look like. I cannot wait. I am so excited. Okay, he has now aged up. So I remember Charles is much more of a bookworm. And then we have his sister, Bellatrix, who's much more active. I think that, let's see. Okay, so he's a bookworm. Oh gosh, if I do random, what is he gonna get? What if I don't like it? Emotional conduit. These Sims feel the emotions of the Sims around them and try to hide from it by staying busy, which gives them an appearance of confidence. Okay, I don't quite understand what that means. We'll just go with that. The only thing is this is a custom content, so I don't know like if I end up having to delete it for some reason, because I've had to in the past because of like bugs and stuff, then it might affect that, but I'm sure he'll, he'll get something else. It's fine. Okay, Okay, so why don't we have him pick an aspiration? So I feel like he's just super into academics. So why don't we go, ahead, oh yeah, let's go to knowledge. Why don't we just do a nerd brain? That's his aspiration. So that is Prince Charles. Okay, I need to change his outfits and stuff, but I'll definitely do that. But oh gosh, he's super cute. Okay, so now we are going to age up Princess Bellatrix. So why don't we go ahead and add these candles first before someone takes any of the cake? Okay, so Princess Bellatrix is going to blow out the candles now. She's going to become a teenager, you guys. I'm not ready for her to be a teenager either. This is so weird to me. Okay, Princess Bellatrix is blowing out the candles now. And all her friends are here too. I tried to invite as many of the kids as I could because it's like a kid's party. But okay, Princess Bellatrix is aged up. So she is already active. So why don't we give her the athletic trait? And then I guess, mm, all right, why don't we do random for this too? Oh, okay. She's materialistic. That makes sense. She's a princess. She's used to growing up in a castle and everything. So she is materialistic, but she's also active. She just likes to stay up on her feet. I feel like Bellatrix is more active. And then Charles is more about knowledge and studying and a bookworm. And then Diana is more artsy. So it's just really cool to see like how different they all are. I am going to age up Araminta and Anya, and then I will change their outfits so we can see them. So 
Why don't, oh, oh gosh, oh no, no, no. Someone beat their pants and I don't know who. Oh gosh, okay, well I guess we'll find them at some point. Okay, so next to age up is Princess Araminta. So she's aging up into a teenager. I love that we are able to do like all these birthday parties at once. It's a lot of fun. I also, on Instagram, if you guys follow, I posted an adorable picture of Charles and Araminta when they were kids and Charles is like kissing her on the cheek and it's the cutest thing ever. You guys definitely have to see. Okay, I need to change Araminta as well. And then we are going to make sure that I gotta add these candles before someone takes the cake. And then we're going to age up Princess Anya. Then I'm gonna change their outfits. And then Charles and Araminta are gonna go on a date. Okay, Kellen took the cake before we were able to add the birthday candles on it. But I had another cake in the refrigerator, luckily, and it already had birthday candles on it. But now Princess Anya is aging up into a teenager. I'm so excited to pick all their clothing and stuff. They're going to look so different. I'll probably just for time's sake, I, well, no, I wanna pick all of their clothing. I won't pick the swimsuits and like the hot weather outfit and all that stuff right now. I'll do all of that later, but I'll at least do everyday outfits and stuff. So Princess Anya has aged up too. So we're going to go ahead and end this birthday party. Oh, and then also, uh, oh, Sidira, were you the one? You were the one. You were the one who had the accent. Who's in their bear? Oh gosh, Princess Aisha is in her bear costume. Okay. I don't think Lady Sidira is gonna be having her baby in this episode. It might be the next episode, but poor thing, she had an accident. She's pregnant, she can't help it. Okay, so I have changed all of their outfits or all four of their outfits. So first I have a Prince Charles here. So I gave even much more of like wavy hair. So I don't, I don't know. Does he remind you guys of King Henry? I guess he kind of does. He definitely has King Henry's face but he still is very different from King Henry. And it's just so weird because Kellen had brown hair, so he reminded me nothing of King Henry, even though Kellen also has King Henry's face. So, but it's a little bit different, I don't know. But he looks really good, you guys. I think he looks so good right now. So this is uh, Prince Charles. And then I have Princess Bellatrix. So Princess Bellatrix kind of reminds me of Princess May a little bit, like very free spirited. Actually, oh, let's go to her. In her face, I think she actually looks like Princess May. May a little. You know what? No, she looks like Evangeline. She has Evangeline's face. She definitely does. Okay, yeah. Bellatrix, I gave her because Princess May wore pantsuits. She was very free spirited. And I feel like Bellatrix is kind of the same way. Like I think the pantsuits look really good on her, but I need more jumpsuits that are a little bit more conservative. Like this one, like this isn't even custom content. This comes with the city living pack. The ones that I have, the jumpsuits that I have are a little bit more revealing. So I need to find ones that are not as revealing, but that's Prince Princess Bellatrix, and then let me see. Okay, so this is a Princess Araminta here. So I also gave Araminta, or not Araminta, I gave Anya long hair, and I don't know if actually Anya might have gone home accidentally because I was messing around with their outfits. I don't know if you guys can see her very well, but this is Princess Anya. So that is Queen Lindsay's hair, but Queen Lindsay, I'm pretty sure she's an elder now, and I changed her hair to much more of like updos. So Queen Lindsay doesn't have that hair anymore. I need to find like really long long hairs, like more of them. So we have more options. Anyway, okay, so it is 4 a.m. right now, I believe. Yeah, so Charles doesn't actually have to go to school, which means I don't think Araminta has to go to school either. I know that we've also been paying a lot of attention to the Windenburg royal family, so I'll branch out to the other families. I know we haven't paid attention to the Oasis Springs royal family in a while, so I'll definitely make sure to do that. But yeah, I'll do that in the next few episodes. I just wanted to film a few episodes before I got my wisdom teeth taken out, because I don't know what my schedule is going to be like during that time. So I definitely just wanted to make sure I did that. I really cannot get over how good looking Prince Charles and Princess Bellatrix are. They're so good looking. Princess Bellatrix, she definitely reminds me of her mother, but also her father. I think it's cool that she has a mix between both. All right, so it's about lunchtime. So I think for their first date, I think Prince Charles is going to take Princess Araminta out to lunch at the Windenburg restaurant. So uh, there is no romantic relationship with them because I have the first crush, first crush mod or the first love mod, but it does still say first crush on there. Oh, if you guys can see it. Yeah, okay, so it still says first crush on there. There's no romantic interaction when they age up into teenagers, but why don't we go ahead? We can make a romantic interaction start. Okay, but I am going to have Prince Charles. He's going to meet Princess Araminta at the Windenburg restaurant. So while I wait for it to load, I'll just say, so I do think that Araminta's father, Emperor Zhao, he's actually an elder now. I forgot how much older he is because he waited a while to have kids because Corinne's parents are elders.
elders, and Emperor Zhao is also an elder. Her mother, Mei Lin, is not an elder yet. Oh gosh, no, don't, what are you doing? But I do feel like Emperor Zhao had, oh, I need to change her name to Princess Araminta, but I'll do that later. But I do feel like Emperor Zhao, he has talked to King Henry about the possibility because Emperor Zhao is still very into, oh gosh, I just realized uh, Prince Charles has like a sword. So I'm gonna just have him change into his regular clothing. I haven't picked all of his outfits yet, so I need to do that. But Emperor Zhao is still very into the whole arranged marriage thing, but I feel like King Henry has kind of gotten past that just because of the whole thing that happened with Princess Amira. So I think Emperor Zhao has tried to talk him into doing an arranged marriage because, I mean, Prince Charles is a prince. Like, I think Emperor Zhao thinks he would be really great for his daughter, especially since she is the heir to the throne. So I think that with them, Henry was just like, you know what, why don't we just see, like, I feel like he didn't want to just outright say no, because he didn't want to be rude. But I feel like he was like, well, why don't we just see how things go with them? Like, we should just wait and see how the relationship goes. I think things are already going really well. So we can just kind of take it from there. So Emperor Zhao, he wanted more of a definite answer, but I feel like he was just like, okay, I'm not going to argue with the King of Windenburg. All right. So I have just had Charles and Araminta ask or request a table. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. This is Araminta. This is her formal outfit and it's honestly beautiful. I love it so much, but I think she doesn't need to wear that at the moment. I think she could just wear, wear this regular outfit. So they have requested this table. So now they're sitting over here. So there hasn't really been any romantic interactions going on yet, but I am still having Prince Charles flirt with her. So I guess we should, oh yeah. Okay, so let's call this an official date. So I'll ask her out on a date, even though we're already here, but this will be our date just right here at the restaurant. They are now on an official date. Oh, and there's a little bit of a romantic relationship going on between them too, you guys. That's cute. I mean, they are like childhood crushes. So I feel like that's how it should have started anyway, but that's okay. Guys, they are such a good looking couple. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what's happening, but they're such a good looking couple. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I, okay, so Aaron's sleeves are bothering me a little bit. I think I might need to change her outfit, but I think she looks really good in this dress. I don't know where she's going. I definitely want them to at least kiss by the end of this episode. So we'll see if we get a chance to do that. All right, so they are having an armorous exchange. So one of our goals actually for the day is to kiss our day. I know you can't see it because my face cam is there. But it looks like I saw an interaction for him to already ask her to be his girlfriend. I don't know if they should go official yet. Maybe I'll wait another episode or so till they go official. Well, mm, I don't know, you guys. I don't, that just seems really fast to me. I mean, they've been together since they were kids. I'll see what you guys think. I'll wait and to see what you guys think. And then you can let me know if they should be official already, but they're so cute. I actually really <laughs> love them together. I do want him to, cause the day's almost over. We're gonna end meal and pay. Why don't we go outside first? So they can like walk outside together. And then I am going to have him kiss her. And I think that's just going to be so cute. They are now outside the restaurant. He's telling Araminta what a great time he had. Where is she going? Wait, no, please kiss her. I just want you to kiss her. Okay. Okay. I think it's happening. It's happening. They're going to get, they're going to have their first kiss. Oh my God. Wait, her father's right there. It's Araminta's father is completely spying on them. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. Araminta's father was spying on them. He just wants things to go well. He wants them to be together. So it's not like he's saying I'm overprotective about my daughter, even though he is. He just wants them to end up together. That was so funny. But we are going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of Araminta and Charles and their new relationship. I think they're so cute. You guys have to let me know what you think and if you think that they should just make it official already or if they should wait a little bit. But in the next episode, we'll get to focus on some of the other family. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.